Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, AKA Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you may as well tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Y'all, what's up? <laughs> Hi, I am back here, and today is $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute, yet super affordable units for the lovely $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. So as some of y'all know, I have been away for the past two weeks. I posted one video while I was away <laughs> for $20 Tuesday last week. So I have a lot to catch up on. Shout out to everyone that's been interacting with me on Instagram because I am still very active on there whether I'm away on YouTube or not. Is that your hair with three R's at the end? Definitely follow me on there because I love to chat and showcase hair and showcase a little bit more of myself on there. So hit me up, follow your girl. But right now we are going to get into some super, super affordable units from Outre. Outre just came out with this Converti cap series a few weeks ago and I actually picked them up before I left for my trip and I actually brought them with me thinking I was gonna record while I was in Tulum and your girl did not record anything. <laughs> I did film like some vlog footage, so I do plan on putting out a Tulum vlog this month in November, so look out for that later on this month. But yes, y'all, I wanted to bring you all these affordable units and it intrigued me because these units are supposed to allow for multiple styling options. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into a lot of styling right now because I don't have a lot of my hair out, but we'll see what I can do. So let's just dive right into the first unit is Pina Curlata and I have her in the number two color. So she's this nice beach wave, straw wave kind of curl. She does come with long, one long comb in the front and two combs at the sides with a comb in the back. So there's four combs on this wig, which is very different from Altrey's other half wigs, which normally have like one or two combs usually. The new ones have two smaller combs. Now the thing about this, that allows you for multiple styling is there is a drawstring right here. You see it? So if you don't want to wear it as a half wig, you can pull this drawstring so that you can tighten it to wear as a ponytail, which I think is really cool. Again, I don't have a lot of hair out, so I won't be able to do a ponytail today, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what you can do. And the stock card here, when you open it up, they do explain what the Converti cap is. It says that there are limitless styling possibilities. You can reveal your own hairline. You have premium synthetic fibers, one wig, one million ways. That's a lot of ways, Altre. So I'm gonna show you two styles today. This one, and I have another unit in a different color. And with that unit, I'm definitely going to probably trim and cut her and shape her up to frame my face. This unit isn't my curl pattern at all, so I feel like I'm just gonna end up putting some headbands on that I got from Amazon. And of course, everything that you see will be linked down below, so feel free to check it out after the video. I also like that this series has some cute names for the hair, like this one's Pina Curl Otta, obviously named after Pina Colada. This other wig I have is Bahama Mama, which is also named after a drink, and I love a good fruity drink. It definitely gives me vacay vibes, as does this hair. So let's see what she's looking like. All right, so this is Pina Curl Otta, and one thing I noticed straight off the bat is that this is definitely very, very roomy, y'all. Very roomy. I have a medium sized head, but if your head is larger, this will definitely accommodate you. So I'm gonna get into some styling, let some music play, and then I'll be back with my pros and cons. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move. Something I won't be for you I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on I'm gonna see you, 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 I'm
Alright y'all, so I'm back with Miss Pina Carlotta and let's just dive right into the pros. First pro would be this curl pattern and style. I really like the straw curl beach wave. I think it's very cute and it's definitely giving me take me back to Mexico vibes. Like <laughs> wearing this wig, I just don't want to be here. It is literally 45 degrees in the DMV. Why? Why is it so cold on the East Coast? I know this happens every year, but I just can never get used to it. Mind you, I grew up on the East Coast. Like, what's up? Well, that's how I feel this wig. I feel caliente. I feel spicy. I like this. This is pretty. And of course, you know I always go to a half up, half down when I have these longer wigs. I mean, you just can't go wrong. Let me know what you feel about the headbands that I showcase and the turbans. The turban look? Definitely feeling that look a lot. I found those on Amazon and you can find them all linked in my description box. Some of y'all know that I'm really feeling these glitzy rhinestone headbands right now. This is my jam, this is my thing. So if you're feeling them too, you'll see them down in the description box. So yes, I like the style, the texture feels good, it feels soft, and I love that it's a stretchy cap made to accommodate various head sizes and also made to do different styles. I'm sorry that I'm not able to do a lot of styles right now due to the way my hair is. Hopefully Hopefully you still will all want to experiment if you decide to buy this wig because it literally turns into a ponytail, literally, which I think is really cool. If I had my hair out, I would definitely gather up on my hair and let this along, what is this, 22 inches or something? I would let this thing swing, honey, okay? <laughs> definitely would wear this as a pony. And of course, the huge pro is the price. This retails for $14.94 on wigtypes.com. Hello, who's on the website? $14, y'all, so affordable. And if you're new here, I do $20 Tuesdays every week, so I do have a $20 Tuesday playlist. Feel free to check them out and see some more of my affordable finds because you're bound to find something that you like within the $20 price range. But yeah, y'all, go hit up Wingtubes and check this out because they have all the styles on there and I'm glad I picked this cutie up. I like her. As far as cons, really, it's just the shedding. I'm getting... Quite a bit of shedding with this one. I, I keep my expectations low due to the price point. So I'm always pleasantly surprised when I find something like this that looks cute and it's a bomb price. Plus this gives you versatility. Because it's a half wig, there is no headband attached so you can add your own headband. But you are also at liberty if you have edges. For hair in general, you can leave that out and let it blend. So I'm filling this one. If you're ready to see the second wig I purchased, keep on watching. La 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 la. La 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 la. Before I move on to the second wig, I hope this is picking up because I can't deal with another mic issue. I cannot deal with that. I cannot deal. Oh, really quick, before I move on to the second wig, please note that with long synthetic units, you need to be mindful of what you wear. I know it's fall slash winter in a lot of places in the US at least. We are wearing sweaters. We are wearing cotton knitted will blend so this is like the nemesis to synthetic wigs this type of fabric will make your synthetic wigs tangle up so much faster so just be mindful of that when you're buying these synthetic wigs they're definitely not going to last as long when you're wearing you know sweaters and whatnot they're just not because they snag onto the synthetic fibers remember it's not human hair so they snag and they're just more prone to tangling whereas if you're wearing a silky blouse or chaffron or satin something like that that's very smooth it will glide over your synthetic fibers with ease so just keep that in mind. All right, so here we have Miss Bahama Mama. We got this vibrant Beyonce blonde color. I'm feeling it. I have Bahama Mama here in the Honey Auburn color, DR Honey Auburn. Same specs as the last wig. Of course, we have this really cool adjustable drawstring here. I do think it would be cool if human hair companies started using this adjustable drawstring on their headband wigs. I would really like that. So for this wig, we're just gonna wear her as a full cap wig and y'all know me i get a little scissor happy i love framing curly wigs to my face automatically a pro to me is this curl pattern i love ringlet curls like this it's very pretty 
mimics a type 3B, 3A hair. And I also love the way the coloring is done in this unit. Altre is bomb at that coloring. To me, they have become a master at coloring in the synthetic wig game. So let me just toss this one on and get it popping. All right, so this is what she's looking like straight out the pack, y'all. I know some people are very intimidated by curly wigs, especially curly synthetic wigs that do not come shaped. So I am just going to start cutting away at this. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind when I do frame my curly wigs, I am cutting in a V shape. So I want shorter strands here and the longer strands on the bottom, and I wanted to frame my face in this V type of shape. I think that is the most flattering for my face shape and for a variety of face shapes when it's layered in that way. There's already some layers in this unit, but as you can see, it's still a little bit haphazard on my head. This is not how you should walk out the house. When you get a synthetic curly wig like this, you need to shape her to your face. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So if you're ready to see the transformation, keep on watching. So I'm back with Miss Bahama Mama and we're gonna dive right into the pros. First pro is definitely this color. I really like honey blondes on my skin tone. I remember saying in another video that I was kind of tired of honey blonde because I've done it so much in the past. But a lot of y'all are new here and a lot of y'all have not seen my older videos. So I'm back with some color because I feel like I haven't done a color like this in a while. Actually, I did do a headband wig similar to this color by Y Wigs. Y'all can check that video out too. I really like that color, it's similar to this. But if you don't wanna pay human hair money, here is an affordable option for you. I love the curl pattern this unit. I think it's very pretty, especially as it fluffs out. I think the cap is very comfortable. And again, this is a converty cap, so you can convert it to a ponytail. And that way you can style it however you wish. I don't have naturally blonde hair, but if I did want to color my hair and attach this ponytail, I would. I would try it. I mean, there is a dark root up top here, so that does help a little bit as far as making it look more natural. Now, when it comes to how I cut this unit, you'll notice that I was going for the V-shape, and I think I did a pretty good job with that. I love wearing natural hair wigs like this with bangs in the front. That's just like my go-to style in general. I also, off camera, cut out a few pieces from the center here because sometimes with synthetic natural hair kinky curly wigs, they will bulk up this area here and it's totally not necessary. I like for this area to kind of dip down a little bit, almost like a crater, like a small crater in the center of your head because I feel like that's what my natural hair does. So it just helps it look more natural in my opinion versus just having a bunch of hair just like up top here and overflowing over. I don't really like that. Here is what the hair is looking like to the side, hair in the back here, you see how it's looking, and to the other side. I don't know what the back is looking like, but when I'm cutting, I, I'm just doing my very best, so hopefully it looks good to y'all. But please let me know what you think about this unit. I am really feeling this. And for the price, $14.94, again, you cannot beat the price, y'all. Cannot beat it. Who's on the website? Look, with this hair right here, my God. <laughs> and if you are a person that has steered away from blondes for a very long time, have no fear, sis. Try this wig right here. Even if you don't try this blonde color, Altre has come out with a slew of new colors for their newer units, especially their half wig and converti cap units. So I suggest you try a color. I know a lot of us love our 1B and number twos, and I, I, I like that too. But especially for my melanated, Brothers and sisters, I would love if you all ventured out and put a little color in your life. Because honey, do you see me? <laughs> this looks so good. This does make me feel a little bit like Beyonce back in the day and I'm here for it. I think Beyonce would be proud, what do you think? 
Let me know in the comments, y'all. This is all I'm doing to this wig, cutting it. I'm not gonna add any headbands or anything, although you could if you wanted to, if you wanted to pull this back and put a headband on. You could do that. Actually, I'll show y'all really quick. So like, I have this wide navy blue headband here and I would literally just throw this on. Ooh, Ooh. okay, I'm glad I showed y'all with the headband because this is really cute. And one thing I like about these wide headbands is that if you have no edges, have no fear, sis, you don't have to show them, they cover. Okay, these headbands give great coverage. I will link these down below. Amazon affiliate link. Feel free to shop my links because it helps support Is That Your Hair? And I truly appreciate it. But this right here looks so good. I like this. Do y'all like this? This is cute. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. And I have this in like four different colors. I have red, black, navy, and I forgot the other color that I have. But this looks, this looks really good. Are y'all here for this with the headband with the curly hair here? And you see how it's dark root a little bit? Makes it look a little bit more natural. I like this, y'all. I'm really feeling this. I think I want to throw on the black headband before I go. Ooh. Be careful, y'all. <laughs> I need to attach this joint because this joint is about to fall off my head. <laughs> All right, y'all, I was trying to give y'all some fake high puff action without actually having like a ponytail because like I said, all my hair is not out, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it could possibly look like with a headband. The back of my hair looks absolutely crazy, so you, you know, <laughs> just letting y'all know. This is what the back looks like, but of course I would not wear it like this. I'm just showing you for the purpose of this video the kind of style you could do if your hair was in the proper place. I think this high puff style could be a look. Ooh, actually, let me switch out my earrings. Some of y'all probably know I've been talking about this new black owned business I found called Hoop Mob, and they have gorgeous earrings. I love hoops, and they have different styles. So these are the Africana Studies, and I will link them in the description box down below. Look at that. Who is she? <laughs> this is a lot of hair up here. Like I probably wouldn't want it this big, but again, this is just for video purposes. I'm just trying to give you all some ideas of what you can do at home with your Converti Cap wig. I love these earrings. So cute with the high up type of look. Here for it. <laughs> y'all so please let me know which one is your favorite Carlotta or Bahama Mama that I'm wearing right here let me know which styles that you like which headbands did you like again you really can't go wrong with these because they are under $15 I mean that's just an awesome price I think it's definitely worth picking up and trying them out and playing around with them on the website they definitely show multiple styles that the models are wearing and I would love to try that on my own maybe next time when more of my hair is out but I think I was able to do a little something. I hope that you all enjoyed it. It is $20 Tuesday after all. <laughs> if you're new here, tap that subscribe button. We are on our way to 20K and I'm super excited. I would love to reach that goal this month. So make sure you subscribe to your girl. If you want to see more $20 price range wigs, check out my $20 Tuesday playlist. I also have a textured wig playlist. Check that out as well. And all links to everything that you see in this video is in my description box. And while you're at it, you may as well go ahead and watch the next video right over here from Play All Tuesday from last week. Both of them look so good. And of course, they're another affordable find. Thank you all so much for joining me for $20 Tuesday today. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.